Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be installing the Screaming Eagle Heavy Breather Performance Air Cleaner for Milwaukee 8 engines on our 2020 Rogue Glide Special. Alright, so let's see what we have in the box. All right, so in the box, we got our intake tube. We have our air cleaner filter kit, our filter element. Here we have our throttle body cover. This is our back plate. This is our rain sock. You got your two breather bolts. Here we have our other bolts. We also got some self-tapping screws. Here's our O-rings, got a set of two. Here we have our square rings, also got a set of two. Here's our cable strap. Here we have our gasket for our back plate. So this is our other gasket. Here we have the instructions that came in the box. So this was came in the box, so uh, let's get this thing installed. All right, now we're gonna remove the uh, stock cover. We're gonna use a T50. From here we got three T27. breather tubes. So from here we're going to remove our stock breather bolts, 7 sixteenths. Now we're going to remove this stock bracket right here. This is a T30. Use this little screwdriver right here. Pop this out. All right, so our first step here for installing the uh, new air cleaner, you're gonna install the throttle body cover to the back plate with self-tapping screws. You got your three self-tapping screws and you got your back plate and your uh, throttle body cover. Here we got a T20. All right, once you have the uh, self-tapping screws in there with Loctite, align the holes, install the gasket to the back plate. All right, so our next step here is to install the new square rings and the counterbore around the breather screw holes on the induction module side of the back plate. So you got square rings, right? Then you have your circled rings here.
We're gonna install the uh, air filter element onto the intake tube. Make sure it's fully seated. Obviously this is gonna be on the outside, so we want the clamp to be on the inside. Just gonna stick it in there until it's fully seated. You hear that click? And from there we can take the uh, screwdriver and uh, tighten it down. So now I'll go ahead and secure the throttle body cover and back plate with our button head screws. Just make sure you're adding Loctite. For these screws, I am using a T25. Just loosely put them on there. Now that I have this lined up, I'll go ahead and get the breather bolts in here. Just get them finger started. For the breather bolts, I am using a T45. So for the three back plate mounting screws, it is calling for 55 to 60 inch pounds. We'll go ahead and tighten these down to 57. For the breather bolts, it is calling for 120 to 144 inch pounds. We'll tighten these down to 130. Here we have our intake tube and our gasket. We'll go ahead and line this up. It only goes on one way. So just line it up with the three holes and we're gonna bolt it into here. I went ahead and ran the bolts through so it keeps that gasket aligned. So for this, I'm using a 3 16 hex bit. So the top and bottom bolt are at an awkward angle to get to. So I am using a smaller ratchet. So when you're tightening these down, it'd be a good idea to add some painter's tape so you're not scratching up your intake tube. So for these three screws, it is calling for 55 to 60 inch pounds. We'll go ahead and tighten these down to 57. 